So Apple this morning released iOS 18 beta 7 to the public developer beta. And surprisingly, it was a very small beta update as it was just around 300 megabytes, depending on device, of course. But this was definitely one of the smallest updates that we have received so far. As I noticed on CarPlay, there's no major change that I've seen, even on the phone itself as well. And it makes sense, since after all, we are approaching September pretty soon, alongside the release of the next generation of iPhones. So it's clear that the public beta, as well as the developer beta, is now getting perfected. And then aside from iPhone, tvOS, even iPadOS also receive new beta firmware updates as well. So let's talk about the new changes of CarPlay and see what's improved and uh, see what Apple did with this beta 7. Now I know I'm gonna get asked this a lot before we get started, 106 text messages. This is my business line, it always gets spammed. So don't worry about that. Let's start off with Apple Music because the album artwork is now bigger. Of course, you can always go in settings and remove it completely right here in the show album artwork. You can enable it or disable that. Since we are on an iPhone 13 that does not support Apple intelligence, the Siri icon shows to be the old school Siri icon because when we activate the Siri animation, it doesn't do the whole ring, unfortunately, since we have the base version Siri. But what we do get still is the new animation for the notifications. As you see right here, now it actually will show the message app icon as well as the profile picture of the person you receive a text message from. And when you click on messages, Mark said hi. Would you like to reply? You still get this window. Apple Intelligence doesn't show us this. And then when running a timer and your timer goes off, you no longer have to grab your phone as you can now just click on it right here on your screen and you could repeat the timer or stop it all entirely, which is kind of interesting because it does feature the UI that you expect to see on your iPhone. But even though we don't get the new advanced Apple intelligence, this Siri is still capable to show you like scoreboards from your favorite team. So if I would request it to, to show me something like, what's the Lakers latest game? The Lakers battle the Warriors on October 18th, 2024 at 7 p.m. So it shows us this new animation and can you show me the latest score from the Lakers? So it doesn't continue like Apple Intelligence, however. But if I do this, show me the latest score from the Lakers. The Lakers lost the conference quarterfinals, four games to one against the Nuggets. They lost the last game. One okay, enough of that. Unfortunately, my team always keeps losing for some reason, but that is a new window animation. Also applies for weather requests as well, in case you're new, so of course, How's the weather looking like in Seattle? It's currently raining and 67 degrees in Seattle, Washington. Expect partly cloudy skies starting in That's the new window UI animation now. And in case you haven't watched my previous video, this home button also got an update now switches between this home page whenever you're on the app layout. And then if you switch to this home page, it will show you this little home button layout. And right now I have my Google Maps disabled because I like to keep my privacy private. And then on iOS 18.1 beta 2, there has been an update where if you're playing media, let me go ahead and play the song real quick, but lower the audio, of course, for copyright purposes. If you launch your iPhone's camera, they fixed it. So now while your media is still playing, you can hit record and it still is playing the media while your phone is capturing the song. So it doesn't pause the song and you can add it in your video that you're capturing. That bug has been resolved and now works on CarPlay. And if you don't see it working on your device, you need to go on your iPhone setting and then go into the camera section. And in the recording sound right here, make sure you have allow audio playback enabled for it to resume the music or whatever podcast or media you're playing on CarPlay to not pause while you're recording. Another app that received a nice new fix can be the podcast app because now whenever you go into your list of like browse or your library, You'll see some of your episodes with the down arrow indicating that it's installed on your iPhone. So you don't have to stream it or use any mobile data. It's already ready for you. Now, all the massive changes can be located in the settings, of course, because in a driver focus mode, nothing has changed. You can still activate it when it's connected to Apple CarPlay. But announced messages, same thing. Nothing new changed there. No new change there, I'm sorry. That's what I mean to say. Always dark, light mode, that's still also remain the same. Wallpapers, we still have the same wallpapers we've seen with iOS 18 get added. Just this newer like night and light mode one. I kind of like this one. It matches extremely well in dark interior cars. 
in the silent mode this is new this is something they added where it will actually mirror your iphone silent mode or you can have it silent mode turn off or turn off entirely and you can just read the description down here as soon as this little window pops up on what each of these does i don't really want to waste you guys time because i already covered this in the past multiple times we're just trying to see if there's anything new in the accessibility we you do have color filters so by enabling this, of course, you can enable grayscale if you're colorblind, red to green filter, green filter. And I hear that it works really well if you wear polarized sunglasses as well. You may also increase the intensity as well. But I'm going to turn that off so it's easier to view on the camera. Voice control is pretty cool because a new icon will pop up here, of course. And then on your phone device, you'll also see this little microphone you telling you that's utilizing the microphone on your both your mobile device. So you can do stuff like this, like open YouTube music. I'm sorry, you need to pause first. Open YouTube music. And then it will launch the app just like that. You need to pause and be quiet for a couple seconds. So I'm assuming it doesn't interrupt your like conversation in case you say a command when you're talking to somebody in your car. And then you can just read out loud like certain sections that you see in text right there. So if I say tap last played, it just does it like, to, like that. Super quick and very responsive and it works extremely well now than the first beta. Open settings. It just takes a while to get used to. But that remains the same from previous one, but again, it's noticeably more snappy. And then Syrian suggestion, again, since we don't have an iPhone that's running this beta that supports the new Apple intelligence, we don't have any of the new additional settings we've seen in the past on some of my past videos. And then when receiving a phone call, animation looks exactly the same. But in terms of like recording incoming calls, but in terms of incoming calls to be able to record an incoming call, it only works on an iPhone that supports Apple intelligence. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch right now and show you how that looks like. So here we are in my personal device and to give you a recap of how that animation looks like, this is how it looks like. Apple recently fixed the ring because before it used to be half a ring, but Apple intelligence is indeed working on this device. And then if we go into system settings, and go into the Apple intelligence and Siri. This is how it looks like. But again, this is still a beta. So this is not the new version of the very advanced, very intelligent Apple intelligence, unfortunately. But in terms of phone calls, let me go ahead and show you how that looks like. So when receiving an incoming call, you could decide to pick up like so, but you still need to go on your actual phone and actually tap on voice recording. If you like to record, have this line recorded and it'll start like a three second time. Just like that. It'll start a three second timer with the Siri voice letting the other person know that this call is gonna be recorded. And then you can just end it. Unfortunately, again, you don't have the ability to do it here. And then in the message app, remember I was showing you earlier, whenever you tap on a contact to send a message with Apple intelligence, this is how it looks like. You don't have any like on-screen options, unfortunately. But other than that, that is the quick recap of everything new on iOS 18. And uh, based off everything, Beta 7 definitely is a lot more snappier than previously. I, there was no delay whatsoever when it comes to showing us like the team score. That was a previous issue I was facing. I still am facing on the developer Beta 18.1.2 Beta 2. So it's nice to see that it's resolved on Beta 7 for the public Beta. So treat this like a small recap in case you watched on my previous video i think it's always nice to actually go in and through everything and see if maybe something was enhanced and improved and so far this is probably the most reliable car play i've seen so far for the beta so it's clear that apple is planning to release the the very improved no bugs no issues whatsoever iOS 18 it's basically almost ready at this point and yes i'll have the list right there all the compatible devices pause the video right there to see if your device is compatible and then the other side is apple intelligence unfortunately it's only the iphone 15 pros are getting it because the 16s will have this already installed older models unfortunately don't have the ability to run apple intelligence unfortunately but other than that thank you guys so much for watching